Hong Kong cannot tax my bank. That's ridiculous. You're making it sound like the bank would go, oh my God, it came from a foreign country. Nanner, nanner, nanner. Woo, bells, whistles. Yeah, Mr. Robert, this is Mac Benjamin. How are you doing today? Uh, pretty, pretty good. I'm just glad you guys are able to help me clear this up. Okay. I, so, yeah, yeah, we will be doing it right now. You have been transferred to me from McAfee. Right now, I'm the billing department from the World Bank, and I would be initiating your refund. These out-of-mind, brainless scammers are so bad that the first 28 minutes of this video had to be cut because that really didn't do anything, and they ended up transferring me. These McAfee scammers transferred me to the World Banking Server Officers. Good grief. So you want to cancel this permanently, right? You're not using McAfee. You don't want McAfee, correct? I don't understand how it was even ordered to begin with. But no worry. We will be permanently canceling this McAfee thing from your computer so you don't get charged anymore, okay? You will get connect with the World Bank portal and you will get the money. You don't need to share your information over the phone to get the money. And your screen will be updating and it will be blue screen. It will be saying it will be updating. You're getting connected with the World Bank portal. And once you get connected, you will see a small black box. It will be asking to type your name. It says connected to World Bank portal. Your bank is connected with the World Bank and you're ready to receive the money. What is your refund amount? $289.51. McAfee unauthorized $868.88. This fable-minded scammer made several mistakes um, editing the HTML on this bank record. If you look closely, it says negative 868. It really shouldn't have a negative symbol. They do this all the time. They don't look at the other transactions to format their reformat which makes it that much more obviously fake. It also says unauthorized, which I don't recall ever seeing that word in any of my bank transactions. Maybe in India and Pakistan, I don't know. It's just totally brainless. And I don't know, I, people fall for it, so they do, yeah. Okay, so with all the tax and fees are coming $868.98, and you, if you divide with three time, then it will be two or the invoice you got. So exactly what okay. exactly happened. You got charged thrice. So we need to cancel all these three charge. And you don't need to click enter or backspace. Just tell me that you are done because it is an automatic machine. It will be updating. Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. Okay, once you will be done, it will be an automated machine. It will be done instantly when you type it. It will be verifying with the accounts department. So please write down 868.88. Oh, All right, it might be a... So tell me uh, you, everything is fine. Like you got $868.88 in your checking account. I don't know how, but the decimal point is missing, and now it says 86888 One of the highlights of any refund scam is the awful acting that takes place when the victim realizes they've been overpaid. You hear phrases like, I'm gonna lose my job, or you committed a crime. This is no exception. And it's slapstick silly and a lot of fun. What <laughs> are you <laughs> saying, Raymond? Oh my God, uh, l let me check my email. What is the amount? I haven't checked the amount exactly. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh Jesus. Wow. This is. Holy Jesus. $86,888. Yeah, that's what it says. So this oh really my did... God. Oh my goodness. That this what is... you're saying, Mr. Raymond, that you got the money in your account? Yeah. Oh that's... Jesus. Oh my God. Just give me a moment. Let me first open a calculator for you so we can do some calculation, all right? Oh, my God. Just give me a moment, all right? Just give me a moment. Oh, my God. Holy Jesus. You have been added up with 868, and you just missed the dot. Okay, so if you miss the dot, then it will be 868.88.
I would never do that intentionally. I mean, I I I, I know that Raymond. I I understand that. But right now, you need to understand the situation, right? It is very, very critical. It's very, very... You need to understand this. The money which you were supposed to get that was supposed to transfer from the United States portal from the World Bank. But you know, this World Bank is globally. So right now, because of the wrong amount, wrong transfer, it might be from anywhere, from any globe. You know, it is not even my fault or my mistake. And I understand that it is not your mistake. It is just a problem of a keyboard, right? You should be able to just reverse the, reverse the transaction. It can't be that difficult. How you will reverse it? Tell me. You need to contact World Bank and tell them to reverse it. A World Bank? Yeah, right now I'm also a banker from the World Bank, Mr. Robert. And I know what we should need to do to resolve this and what we are not supposed to do to resolve this okay you got the money from the world bank and from an overseas country right now you will see that uh what uh, the money which you got it is coming from hong kong and if you call your bank to tell them to reverse it by a mistake you know what will happen it is not a personal thing it is not with, between the two persons what you're doing right now mr robert i'm eating a snack i mean Mr. Robert, are you serious about this? I, I, I'm feeling so uncomfortable right now. It's my lunchtime. I was eating some potato chips. I'm sorry. No, 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 no problem. I am not stopping you to eat something, but I felt that like I'm explaining you a very important thing, but uh, you are making up your mind. You can uh, make a mutual thing and you can reverse the money by telling your bank that it was a mistake. But in this case, it is not a person to person. From what I understand, my bank doesn't care if it's business or personal. It just looks at the transaction. Yeah, your bank will be really here, it. sir. Your bank will. Because if you go to your bank and tell them that by mistakenly you got this much of money in your account, they will first suspend your account because this money is coming from an overseas country and it is not recognizable. It is unauthorized. It is not sanctioned under your name. So that will be illegal. They will not understand a keyboard mistake. Refund scammers will often claim that the overpayment was illegal or will be viewed as illegal in an effort to scare the victim into complying, going as far as to say if they do follow their directions, everything will be fine. It's just a social engineering scare tactic to get the victim to do what they want. It's, it's pretty sickening. A, a incorrect payment, what does it turn red? Because it's got badness inside of it no it's money going in the bank doesn't know the bank doesn't care they will be charging your business business tax do you know about business tax no i don't you don't I've never so I've never if heard you, of a business tax because you because you this, you don't know about business tax you are if you're getting money eighty six thousand dollars from a hong kong account from a business account there will be a business tax which you need which you will liable to pay your bank it is not like this money is not just involved with right now in the United States. It is also involved in Hong Kong government. It has nothing to do with government. It has nothing to do with government? No. Oh, my God. Sir, I, I think I have very less knowledge about it. Why IRS or FBI work for? They don't work for bank. Yes, they don't work for bank. They don't care about bank. But if they feel or suspect any illegal funds, coming to their country okay from hong kong so it will be marked it will be highlighted all right they like you can't do things like this you can't uh, get money overseas from a business account to your account and you can't go and withdraw or use that money they will suspect this fraud and they will first suspend your account if they suspend your account the entire funds you have that will be free froze it will be frozen Sounds to me like you don't know jack shit about banking, is what it sounds like. Okay. I don't know about banking, and you know too, too much about banking, right? My wife used to be a manager at Bank of mm -hmm. America. The good thing she's she, not here. If she was here, she would be calling you a dumbass, because you're way off. Mm, okay. So I was supposed to transfer you to the CEO of the World Bank. What I feel right now that you do this some often, you do some illegal things. 
No, I, that is I, the reason you know everything. How to deal with point, it and how to at, tell your at, bank about this. At this point, I'm at you your mercy. I'm you at do. your mercy. I'm at your mercy. You have all this down and understandable. You've done it many times. Let's just follow your your guidelines, sir. First of all, if you say this, I would not, I would like not to tell you anything because I haven't done this before. Sounds like you've done I'm it. I'm so many nervous times. right now. You then you are also sounding like you know about everything. No, I do illegal I'm, things. You know yeah, everything, yeah. and at the end you're saying that I don't know anything. You can't say that statement because I I am facing this in my. What I what I will say you I'm shivering right now because I, I consider this as a mistake and you, you are know, sounding like do you, you know, know everything. Do you know what I need to do to get this back to you? Do you have the procedure? Yes, yes. But one okay. thing which I know is I just know two things because I am working over here from a long time. I know about banking thing how it works. The main problem what I am thinking about is right now is if you go to your bank and tell them that. By mistakenly, you got this fund from a business account from overseas. They will be skeptical. They will block your account. They will take some steps, right? Because there is a business tax on this money, right? What, Which you need to pay. Ta- what is Let the, me tell you There that. you Let go again. You. A, another business tax. The IRS does not tax businesses. They tax individuals. Why is it business tax? not ta- about IRS. There is no it's such not about thing. IRS. There is no such thing as a business tax. What are you talking about? Business tax. Who collects the tax? It is the Hong Kong government. Hong Kong cannot tax my bank. That's ridiculous. Mr. Raymond, let me tell you one thing. I don't know the whole exact way out, okay? But what I know is if you go to your bank and if you tell them, without telling them to reverse it, if you tell them that I want to transfer this money to someone, they don't care about it, where you're sending the money, what you're doing. The bank does not give emotion responses to money. The bank doesn't care. You're making it sound like the bank would go, oh, my God, it came from a foreign country. Nanner, nanner, nanner. Ooh, bells, whistles. Bank doesn't work emotionally, but they work with the book, with the protocol, right? But the way you, you. Are, you are reacting, the way you're shouting and you're telling me the statement. No, you're making it, you're making like, it, that you're making it, you're making it work. sound like if I go into the bank and say, I just got $86,000 from Hong Kong, they're going to go, what? Oh my God, that's crazy. And then they're going to say, we need to put a red flag on this now. Listen no, they won't. Him. They won't. Big fucking I mean, deal. I understand. I, I agree with your it point. Is, I am. They don't. I can assure you. I am nervous. You are not. You are you are confident you will do this. I am nervous. If you go to your bank and if you tell them that you got this by mistakenly from overseas, they will do something. I'm not telling you they will react or they will shout. All right. What they, they will they do is they will they first, do anything. They, they will went, suspect they it as a fraud because I no, they you, won't. you know about money laundering, right? Right now, right now, what are you engaged right now? You got eighty-six thousand dollars. That's not money laundering. Money it laundering. Is not money laundering. Money, money might, laundering. You are not laundering it, but it's already laundered to your account. It is in your checking account. Just that make- is not money laundering, you dummy. That's just a transaction. What we're trying to do is very basic and very simple. I was Mr. overpaid. Rem, I was overpaid. I was overpaid. I was overpaid and I need to send it back. There is no launder in there. That is the stupidest thing okay, I've ever heard. I am heard. your friend. Do you God, know you're me? St- you are an idiot, dude. You are stupid. Okay, I am idiot. I know you know everything. These refund scammers can easily become suspicious. So when they do, I often shift tactics to inject them with, I don't know, a, a, me- a mechanism that will jolt them back into the bait. In this case, he was getting suspicious, but I said, I'm just going to go to the bank and have them fix it, which is what a victim would actually say, and it seemed to work on this occasion. It's just, it's a crazy social engineering battle that takes place between a scam baiter and a scammer, as you can you probably already realize. Okay, I just want to resolve this because I want to get you out of this. It's real and simple. You know everything. I have no, I'm an idiot and I have less knowledge. No problem with that. 
all right you know everything okay, okay? you know how to do this after sure, after sure. telling you so much explaining you everything you are just fighting with me with the statement and right now what i can do is i will just transfer this call to the hong kong banking department okay just talk to him hi this is jason here uh, from hong kong financial department i believe okay, i'm talking so. to mr raymond yeah this how is raymond doing, roberts sir? i'm doing pretty good we need to hire the lawyer because this is not a good process which has been done okay this should go very simple and smoothly and you're from hong kong i'm from hong kong you don't sound my hong- name my full name is you don't sound chinese i mean jo ya phir bhi i mean ki ki azi nikaa di tu ko chan se che an jo jaisa na that doesn't pass i have chinese friends i know what they sound like so you are so confident while you are telling me that yes you did it but unfortunately it didn't placed on the portal on the bank portal that the decimal point didn't put in over there and how much do you know about the banking things because i was uh, hearing all the you know conversation you said that um, you will simply go to your bank and tell them that to reverse the money can you tell me a way that it might be you know a new way that uh, hong kong banking finance team might include this kind of way to reverse the money the way it came to our account so that we can reverse back to another person it might be very helpful for me sir that was a, that's kind of a dumb question i just have to go to my bank okay, and say and- i can say i'll just tell them i had 86888 deposited it into mm-hmm. my checking account today that needs mm-hmm. to be returned mm-hmm. is that possible and they would they would likely say yes we'll take care of it so there might be you know a money laundering case on you and i will no, explain no. you how does Ta- you're no, a no, banker I you, I, I know you're, you're, I... when you reverse a charge yeah. that's undoing it there's no laundering taking no, place sir. no sir because it was have, never we have you we work have for a, a bank a you time. can't tell me you're a banker and you don't know that so i ru- i really know everything what i'm trying to explain is that if the money is in your account and we claim for that money that this money is been taken out from our account and this is you know we forcefully we do that you, yes, this is a money laundering are you are you Raymond saying has done. are are you saying that the money physically moved from hong kong to utah because it didn't in your, it, it, it's electronic it, it can be it, undone it, it can be yeah undone. yeah 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 how many how many international transfer you did by physically never, tell me um i've never done one oh wait no i have i sent <laughs> i i i sent i i sent my i sent my brother i sent my brother $4000 oh, a couple of years ago you're so smart you're so smart and, and intelligent that you know you cannot uh, fulfill yourself by saying that yeah i know very well but you haven't done anything that's very poor no i said i I'm said really 4000 i sent 4000 to germany and when did you did, did this a couple of years How ago how long about 20 a little over 2 uh, years ago do you know our technology is on to 2023 are you st- still on the same 1980s or 1990s uh, uh for what for everything i think you're for- still Living the whole life on 1980s. Okay, I, I'm gonna call my bank and we'll get it fixed. Okay. Okay, and uh, what what if that uh, before you call your bank, we will suspend your account and we will be putting you know sending the cough to your doorstep. Sounds good. I think that might be very helpful for you know for Mac Benjamin because he might gonna lose his job. There is no process. There is no problem. But somewhere or the other, uh, me we might be having an evidence that we did uh, the transfer was done. from our own bank which is a worldwide bank so we can we will put a penalty charges on you and there might be a 3500 dollar you know 350000 dollar penalty charges on you for money laundering thank you very much mr raymond because okay. i was recording thank this you. call and every call okay. was been recorded okay you got my word i will do what i can to get this fixed with my bank okay. i'll say i need to send that money back to the original bank that sent it thank you that's what i would say <laughs> are you out of your mind you haven't got the banking details yet well i'll need to get it do you have that info handy how will you get it how will you how will you get it until and unless i give you okay uh, how about i go to my bank and you can talk to them and you can give it to my bank you need to give me a one you know a trust the way i'm trusting on you because the company's money is on your hand and other people those who are waiting 
you cannot deny that if you don't know it no problem but if i give you the information you know sir informations are very secure okay but if i give you i trust you because the money is in your account that is why i trust you so i can give it to you okay so i've been on the phone with you guys for an hour and a half and my iq has mm -hmm. dropped by at least 20 points since then you said uh, to mac benjamin that there is someone in your family who works in your bank yeah my wife used to work for bank of america Okay, okay, that's really nice. <laughs> this is what I was supposed to ask these girls, you know. Uh, I have a one plus point for, you know, that I can cancel the license of your wife, even if she's a banker. She's a comptroller for Bank of America. So you're saying you can rip my wife's ability to away from using Bank of America? I can. So uh, you haven't seen the website of our World Bank. The World Bank is worldwide. I don't know what will happen. Even you don't know, okay? If I go outside well, by walking or while driving, some a car hits me. No one knows well, what we, happened. But we wouldn't want that to happen. Go ahead. But you just no, plaintive, no one, no one you, you plaintively said that you can rip my wife's ability away from being a bank manager. That's crazy. Bank but manager report to her. I understand whatever post she is in right now. I respect her. I really, really respect her from my heart. And I respect you, what you are telling about your wife. Why do you have to get my wife involved? So because we are the banker and the banker has the, you know, SSN ID number, you know, the social security ID number, which and is connected as, with all of the As bankers. far as the world, world bank is peanuts mm -hmm. compared to Bank of America. Bank of America blows the doors so, off of the sizes of the world bank. World bank is small. Oh my God, I have heard this in my life a first time. You do one thing first, carry your uh, driving license, your wallet, uh, why, everything, whatever you can. Why would I bring my driver's license? It never occurred to me. Duh, of course. I'm 52 years old. I know I have to bring my driver's license. Jesus. Okay. No, oh my God. Do you want me to tie my shoes as well? Whatever. Um, give me five minutes. You're ignorant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are ignorant. You really are. I don't know where you get okay. tax. Banks don't tax people. They never have. They never no, will. No. It's a Only... service good tax. GST. No, no they tax. don't. No, they don't. So for... That has got to be the yes, dumbest sir. thing if, I've if, ever heard. If... Okay. That has got to be the it's dumbest. The tax, they will take it. Or if it's the personal tax, they will definitely going to take your personal tax as well. Whether it's you are, $40 you are, or $80. You are a, you're being a moron. Shut up. You don't know anything about banking, and yet you claim to work for a bank. This is like, you know, while you go to a bank, tell them that I want to make a white transfer in Hong Kong. I'm going to tell them I, I filled out a refund form. I then had to fill out a terminal session. And somehow the decimal mm -hmm. point did not go through, and it went through as eighty-six thousand instead of eight hundred and sixty. Are you? Uh, I. This is what you will tell your bank. What you're telling me? I'm gonna tell them what happened, and then this is why I'm sending the money. Sir, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you why out would, of your mind? Since when is telling the truth crazy? What the fuck? Sir, you're the one sir, who's. I am, you're the one who's crazy. What the query? What is your query? You tell me. You tell me. What is your query? Why are you such an, a, an, a, that's what I want to use. I want to be, I don't want to be too harsh. It sounds to me like you have never done banking in your life. Do you know what a bank is? Um, but you know, banks are more than just websites, right? Maybe you, maybe you just say whatever you feel like, sir. But uh, I cannot, uh, how did show, you, I cannot show, show how you. How did, how did you get to work this morning? Did you walk or get sir, a Every day, every day I go for a walk. Okay. So Every day I go work. for a walk. You walk to work. Why aren't you driving a vehicle? Why don't you drive a car? I do. I do drive a vehicle, sir. But every morning we need to go for a morning walk. This is my routine. So you want me to go into the bank and basically tell them a lie? No, no, sir. You you are a, a good and a gentleman, sir. Okay. I'm not telling you that you're lying. You are just helping a person, one person. Straightly go to your bank. God, you're tell them fucking, I need to. You're, make, you're about it. You're about the dumbest person I have ever talked to. You You really so you are. You can abuse me. You are. You an can idiot. abuse me. You can say whatever oh, you man. like, sir. You, 
you Take work in there time. you work in there makes about as much sense as an asshole with lips curse me sir curse me whatever you feel like I'm not curse cursing me, you. Tell I'm, me anything you like. I'm telling you like it is what am i going to say when they question why i am sending money to an enemy country china no, is an they, enemy you, of the united states try to understand if they ask you why you're sending you know that you need to tell them it's a personal transfer and for what reason tell them it was a personal loan which i had took it since or from a long time so i'm repaying it back that's where i know that you don't know what you're talking about because they're going to have mm -hmm. me fill out a form and it's the irs yes, that asks that question not the bank you goober yes yes I you are, the form it is mentioned you are so ridiculously inadequate for this job I, I, i'm surprised you work for a bank oh lord yeah, you haven't had, how long have you Maybe had this job? How long have you had this so job? 15 years. How so much 15 do you make, years, sir. How much do you make per month? What's your salary? $900 every month, sir. That's it? Extra bonus of you make $900 a month? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. $5.10 an hour. And you work as a bank manager for $5 per hour? So, yes, sir. This is what the government of Hong Kong is pay paying to all of the employees, not just me, sir. I have, I'm not just a one man. My, co here. my yeah. co-workers in China make at least 30 an hour. And all they're doing is, is might, reading transcripts. Good, really... My wife, when she was working as a bank teller, was making $26 an hour. You're stupid. Maybe for you are, an, you, are, you are not only dumb at what you do, you've chosen a job that tr pays you shit. So that so makes I have you chosen three... a job for my family. I, I'm telling you straight That's up. Even so worse. This job, what That's even worse. That's even worse. You raising a what family on that low? That should be criminal. You I'm probably happy, have. So I'm happy, sir. My family, my children is happy, and I'm I'm happy. I, I have doubt no it. And I have nothing to you look around. You can't even give shoes to your children. That's with that kind of money. So why are you telling me, sir? Why are you telling me this question? Why are you telling you're me this thing, sir? You're failing your family. That's why. You can get. A job at McDonald's that pays eighteen dollars an hour. You're disrespecting me, sir. I have heard a lot of things I have in my life. I've never heard this. Whatever you said, thank you. You act like this money's going to you. It's ridiculous. No, I was you, not actually. You're actually, not acting. Not, uh, acting you're not emotionally because he, there was a not, Matt Benjamin. You're not acting like a bank a banking rep at all. As you say so. I know so. Okay, I'm putting it in my pocket. Okay, so the amount you need to make a transfer that is eighty six thousand. Shut sir. the fuck up! Just shut the fuck up. Okay. 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 Shut up, Jesus! Just talking to you makes me feel stupid. Hi, I'm here to make a wire transfer. How are you doing today? Are banks now charging taxes on people? Do banks charge taxes? Did you really just say that? <laughs> I thought you would say something like that. Yeah, so there's, I, there's no such thing. I usually say there's no dumb questions, but sir, that was a dumb one. Chappy Gray of the Scam Pond, who is a partner of my channel, always performs a stellar job playing the banker, and almost often she will take a jab at the scammer, much like I have already done during the bait. So it's kind of nice having the victim take a jab at the scammer, and then, of course, the banker taking a jab at the scammer. We always make a point to make sure that the scammer can hear the interaction between myself and the banker, because uh, it also leads into the, the changeover that we put them through to go from international to domestic, things like that. But it's always fun having Chappie just jab at the scammer, making their day that much more worse. I just reacquainted myself today. He's a complete idiot. He says he works for the bank. Yeah, he works for a bank, and he thinks there's there's After banks banks charge taxes. And absolutely I just, not. That would be illegal. What was the purpose of the wire? Um, I'm sending a personal loan repayment to a friend located in Hong Kong. Because of the state of the nation, there's a trigger law in Utah which does not allow us to do any international transfers. We can't send international 
During times of war, Utah doesn't allow international money transfers. They don't allow money transfer international? During times of war. They don't make a wire transfer to international banks? This is not possible, <laughs> actually. If they, no, they do domestic transfer, then they feel they definitely going to do a wire transfer of the international as well. No, but they won't. Bank God, you are, f you are fucking stupid. When the country is at war, no international wire transfers because they don't want money going to terrorists. Do you not understand? I don't think okay. you do. So, I don't think you do because so, you're an idiot. So, okay, I'm an idiot. So you tell me, will there be a way that if I give you the domestic account for U.S.? Find a domestic bank? bank and I can send it to them. Also, too, I asked the banker if, mm -hmm. if during this late stage, do banks charge mm -hmm. taxes? And she said, mm -hmm. no, that is probably the dumbest question she had ever heard. So when you said that there's taxes, you are truly fucking dumb. You understand? Maybe. Did you banks, ask, did you... banks do not charge tax. God, you're okay, an did you... idiot. Did, you are an did you idiot. Ask, uh, service? Okay, if they don't charge a business tax, so did you ask that uh, whether they do charge for a wire, a wire service charge, which is a eighty dollar uh, or a hundred dollar? All banks do, you dummy. That's called a service fee. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, you're just too stupid to know that. Hurry the fuck Wait. up! Hurry the stupid. fuck up! You're, you're you're not blessed in the brains department, so don't blame me for doubting you. You ever consider getting some training, maybe some education? Because you can sure use it. Did you go to school? Yes, sir, I do go to school, sir. Stanford oh, American sure? School, sir, Hong Kong. It doesn't seem like you passed third grade level, is what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. I have a niece. She's in the second grade. She's twice as smart as you. She really is. She's a, a little girl. She knows more about about banking, and she's barely eight years old. I don't want to ask you your age, because I would hate to really diminish you. Yeah, I hate to answer. Are you in your 20s? <laughs> no, sir. sir I'm, I'm, 50, no problem. You can I'm 50. I'm 50. You're 38, and, a, and an eight-year-old is smarter than you? Holy crap. Mm, yes. Did your mom <laughs> drop you on... Drop you when you were like little? Drop you on your head? No, not my mom, but my father. Well, hi again. Um, I got a different bank. The teller that is looking at us and giggling is doing that because I did tell them on break about your question about taxes. Oh. <laughs> and everyone's still laughing. It, don't, it wasn't my question. It was somebody I know. I knew. <laughs> it was somebody That's I knew. They all say. Okay. And so no one's forcing you to do this, sir? Are you doing this on your own free will? Yes. Yeah, are you aware um, that there's been an audit on you from the IRS? An audit uh, from, a, yes. from the IRS? When? Well, it went into effect for me last night when they froze your assets. It looks like you took out, uh, what was it, $130,000 like three months ago, cash. The IRS requires that 8300 form. And according to the notes here, my manage and what my manager just told me is that you decided not to sign the eighty three hundred form, and therefore it was not notar notarized. Oh fuck! Why didn't you call me? We did call you. Yeah, they called you. Actually, they called you seven times and went to voicemail. Well, my phone wasn't working for a couple, almost three weeks. Maybe. Oh geez, whatever. Okay, so how do I solve so, it? I call, I have to call right. them. So uh, let me give you the number here. Apparently, the IRS is auditing my account. Uh, you said you have a cash, right? Yeah, we have we have plenty of cash at home. Can you do a FedEx, a UPS? I can do either FedEx or UPS. It doesn't matter. Now you need to make the cash separate. Okay, you have eighty six thousand. Make right. separate of you know make separate of one forty thousand and one forty five thousand, and keep the thousand separate a cash separate so that you can pay some fees over there okay so we're sending two we're going to send it to two different addresses correct i'm not sending yes, cash yes, I'm, i am not sending cash to a cvs drugstore you're crazy today's refund scammers will often have the victim 
overnight money to a public location such as CVS, pharmacy, Walgreens, or even a UPS store as a form of objection. And what I mean by that is a package going to a James Smith at such a location can actually be picked up by someone with a completely different name. All they have to use is an ID. And like I said, it's a form of masking the actual mill's name from the victim. So if the victim were to try to report James Smith, they're not going to find one because it was picked up by somebody else. It's, it's not 100% anonymous, but it's a layer of obscurity that the scammers use. And we try our best to tell the scammer, we're not shipping to a public location. That's crazy. Um, often we can get them to give us a real address, such as a home address, and that's actual a better report for the authorities. You're not sending cash to drugstore. Okay, if, a, if that is a particular place, you're not doing any money laundering or doing any drug business. You don't have I to am, worry about that. I am not sending it to a CVS. You can count that out. That's crazy. It's going to representatives of McAfee. I want, I want it to go to their office okay. or home address. So the address which was mentioned, that is the two address which I have given to you. You need to make the courier on the same address. It's not going to CVS. They allow so who, anybody with any ID to pick it up. It can be stolen. It's not about if any person can give any identity. Until and unless the ID yes, and is. signature is required. Yes, it is. What, McAfee okay, is a okay. huge company. You have officers. So find a source. Then so find them. Is, uh, it needs to go to a either a house address or a business. Not CVS. Okay. Or okay, not, okay. not FedEx boxes, not UPS mailboxes. You can find me an office or a home I can send these to. Okay, so you see I'm writing down the details there. Uh, yep, I can see it. All right. You drive safely. Once you reach to the parking lot of your UPS, do let me know. Drive safely. I will. I, I will. Oh, my Keep God. Keep coming, 45. Uh, uh, what? Oh, shit. What happened? Uh, my mother, she has fallen at the retirement home, and now she's being rushed to St. Mark's in the... Oh, my God. I'm going to have to turn this car around. i got to get to the hospital. My mother, she's like 89 years old. She's... Oh, my God. I hope she's going to be okay. You can complete this, and you can go straight away. Even no, dude, this is, a, do it, this is my mother. She's in the emergency room, dude. I can't, I gotta go. She's 89 years old. I will call you as soon as I can. What a douchebag.